Hello, you beautiful students and beautiful parents. Today, we're going to review another code, another students. And I'm going to call my friends to join to this session. Hello, Misam and Ash. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. How are you guys? Very good. 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 How are you? Very good. Very good. Great. Very good. So, Ash, explain, introduce us today's student. All right, so today, Uncle Good, we're going to review the code of one of our students. She's very interesting because he's actually quite good in math, apparently, as mentioned by the trainers. His name is Kusha. He is now 12, but he oh, joined okay. way back in 2018. I remembered him. I remember exactly when he joined in fifth floor. I remembered him. He came yeah. with his dad and then they joined to the class. I remember. His little brother. His little brother also is going to right. tall again. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Very good. Hello, Kusha. So I'm very happy to go through one of your code, which is your Python code, Python test that you've done. So let me share the screen. I think the screen is out there now. Uh, we, we can maybe take a look on that. Okay, great. So this is the code. Uh, I think this code is not turtle. It's just a Python code. So let's mm -hmm. run it. Anything you have, Maysam, to add or just run it? This is for the uh, for math that practices basic algebra. Perfect. So let's let's run it. Okay. Uh, here we do have some numbers, the numbers in the list. And then this is, I guess, production of all of them. This multiply, this multiply, this multiply and multiply. So that's just how it works. Okay. So what do we have here? We have a function, very interesting, called pr prod or product, which get a list of numbers, multiply them, and then print out the result. So it's sort of series in mathematics that iterate and does a multiplication. Uh, if you, uh, for example, uh, here I can't draw anything, I guess, uh, to do that too. Maybe we can later share the screen. So uh, uh, in mathematics, we, we, we work a lot with series, series for addition, for multiplication. So there are a lot of no notation that led us to show iteration and one of them is production which we can show the production of all elements in a list and that's really interesting let's see how what he is down in here he created a function that accept a list and there is s uh it's equal by the one and then he went through the list or iterate through the list so for every element in the data in a let's call it x then x multiply s should be replaced by the s itself so this is a self-assignment self-assignment and in every cycle s value will change and not only change it, it will be used into the calculation so what is this is the current value of the s and then this is s after this calculation so this technique is very common in computer or in mathematics mm -hmm. that means the same variable in the right side is equal by something over the variable in the left side in, in the right side and the variable in the left equal by something a function over the s on the right side so like like a kind of y equal by f of y so if you keep doing this every time y will be new because you are giving y to the variable to the functions and you get the back and then put it into the y variable so repeating this it make the y keep updating and when you put this in a loop or in a series that's exactly what is happening so this is the technique that you can fill it in the math and here we can see in the right side we have a multiplication expression and that is s using s and s is the same variable that hold the result so you do this yeah, same thing I think it's one of the main differences in the in the uh, you know, notation of the mathematics and computer programming that True. if you say that mathematics is supposed to key times or could it be? <laughs> and, 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 and and actually, uh, the concept of assignment is something really important here. And then at the end, what he has done, he print A, the data, and print S. So I'm going to do a little, some changes for us here. Why not we just return uh, the S? Because we don't need to print the A, because we do have the A data. So we're just going to write the print and this, if you want to print the data also, maybe we can print the data as well. So then we're going to get the same things. Mm -hmm. uh, so the function returns back something. The function returns something back. And then that's what we're going to have here. 
then one the other thing that can be considered here is uh there are different ways that you can do such a kind of production in, in, in Python as well. Maybe I will create another function, another version of product here, def uh, prod uh, one, and then here I'm going to get the, let's say I'm going to get the data or A, I will follow his notation, or I call it num items or numbers or data. And then I'll just, what I'm going to return, I return that um, if let's say what we're going to do here basically we have a list of numbers here uh and we like to bring multiplication toward all of them uh, one way of thinking is this you know what python has some functions for example one of the function in python is sum that means when you write sum it just calculates the summation of all these uh, elements for example if you write some of this just just uh go through the 2.3 um and then uh, 3.4 and 4.4 and all the negative numbers so we can do some also similar things uh in uh with multiplication to do that we need to use uh some kind of uh techniques you know what for example if you know numpy or some kind of library they can help you to do such kind of things or there is another kind of library in python that i like it but uh, unfortunately, we don't have it in uh, here in browser, which is called a uh, function tools that has a functions reduce that you can directly do such a things over uh, the mathematics. There is one more thing I haven't tried in uh, cube. Uh, uh, I mean, like in um, K portal. Let me try to see if we have it or not. Math has a function. Let me try it first. Math has a function, math dot uh, prod, okay, and uh, but but I'm not sure if uh, it's in this. Uh, yeah, we don't have it here. But anyway, uh, if you in an actual compiler, you can do such kind of things. It means there's a prod that you can call it, and then it returns you back all the kind of uh, multiplication. So if I had it, then I could use it. So I'll just keep it here for you guys to go and try it in actual compiler as well. All good. Very beautiful. I love it. I love it what he is down. Fantastic. So that's all good. Kushab, you did very nice things. I like the mathematical mm -hmm. experience with Python and use the Python as a laboratory to do the coding. That's the best things because math need a laboratory. And laboratory is the codings. And Kushab, we have something very important. Yes. So all of us. You are, you are, Programmer! Programmer!